Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Emmanuel Aska and Jones. Emmanuel Aska was born on 24th of December 1868, one day before Christmas, 151 years ago. In this video, I will show you a game from a simul he played in England in 1895. Laska was taking only a couple of seconds for each move, while his opponents had a couple of minutes for each move. Let's see this very lovely game. Emmanuel Laska started with e4. Jones played e5. Knight to f3, knight to f6, the Russian defense. Knight takes on e5, d6, the standard move. Knight to f3, knight takes on e4. White to move, d4 is the most played move. Emmanuel Aska played knight to c3. Knight to f6. If knight takes on c3, d takes on c3, and after bishop to e7, bishop to f4. But this is a game for another day. Back to our game. After knight to c3, we have knight to f6, d4, h6, controlling g5 square but not developing pieces. Bishop to d3, bishop to e7, and the last card cast at king's side. a6, rook to e1, black to move. Perhaps castling should have been considered. Bishop to g4 was played before white played h3. h3 now attacking the bishop, bishop to h5, white to move. Should white play g4 or not? Is g4 risky? What would you do? Black in a castle king side, it could be risky. Laska played g4. This is a calculated risk. Bishop to g6. Bishop takes on g6. F takes on g6. Queen to d3, threatening to take the pawn on g6. King to f7, defending the pawn. Why to move? How would you continue? Emmanuel Laska played knight to h4. g5. Queen to g6. King to g8. Knight to f5, threatening check, mate. Bishop to f8, defending g7, pawn. White to move. How would you continue now? What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Emmanuel Aska played this very lovely move. Rook to e7. What a beauty. Rook to h7. If bishop takes on e7, queen takes on g7, check, mate. Rook to h7, defending the pawn on g7. Knight to d5, the other knight comes to the party. Knight from b to d7. Queen to f7, check, king to h8. White to move, how would you continue now? Emmanuel Aska played rook takes knight. Knight takes rook, white to move, how would you continue now? Emmanuel Aska played knight from d to e7, threatening checkmate on g8. Bishop takes on e7. White to move. White played the move and black resigned and the move is. Knight takes bishop. Black resigned. There is no sensible defense against knight to g6 check mate. The only way to prolong the game would be queen takes knight. But Indiana Jones was not interested in that continuation, so he resigned in this position. What do you think of this game? I wish you very Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. May God bless you and prosper you in the year 2020 and beyond.